One way to visually enhance your data within your spreadsheet is by adding borders. Naturally, an Excel spreadsheet is broken down into rows and columns, and you can see those row and column lines when you look on the screen. However, the row and column grid lines do not print out when you send your Excel spreadsheet to print. There is an option to enable that, however, but when you apply borders, the borders will print out when you send your spreadsheet to print. Now, one of the easiest ways to apply borders is to go to your Home tab on the ribbon. In the Font group of icons, you have a border icon that has a little drop-down arrow beside it. Clicking there presents you with a whole selection of different options you can use to apply borders to your selected range. Now, if we look on my sheet, my spreadsheet, I only had one cell selected. So I might want to go back and select the range of data within my spreadsheet that I'd like to apply the borders to. So let me do that. I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to highlight my sheet, including the column headings. I'm going to then return back to my icon. Now, the different options here, you can apply a board, bottom border to all of the cells that are selected, or a top border, a left-hand border, a right-hand border. If you already have borders applied and you want to get rid of them, you would use the No Border option. All borders, and I'm going to click that right now, will apply horizontal and grid lines throughout the entire range of data that you had selected. Let me go ahead and undo that here, and we're going to go back to that icon. Notice that the icon, the picture or on the thumbnail of the icon will change based on the last border st style used or applied. You also have the option to put outside borders just around the perimeter of your data range, a thick outer box border, and you have double border or thick borders, top and bottom, and so on, a number of different options here. You also have the ability to manually click and drag and draw the borders within your sheet. Draw border grid is a pretty neat tool. I'm gonna to show you that in a moment. You also have the ability to erase a border and to assign a line color. And notice you have all the different colors available to you, as well as a line style. You want a standard line or a dotted line or a variation thereof. You've got double lines for borders, heavy lines, dotted, dashed lines, and so on. And if you want to click on more borders, that will take you into the border dialog box within the format cells dialog, which gives you different line styles and thicknesses colors available for your lines, a few preset options here, as well as around the preview area, and the preview area will show you how the borders will take effect. So for example, if I click on outline, I see my range here, and I see that that's only going to put a border around the outline or the outer perimeter of my selected area. If I click on inside, that will finish it off by putting a border on every vertical and horizontal line within my spreadsheet. If I want to remove a feature, I can click on it within the preview to turn it on or turn it off, to add it or to remove it. Very easy to do. You can also put diagonal lines if or as needed or as desired. All right, I'm going to cancel out of here, so I'm going to go back to that little drop-down icon. And I'm going to show you this little draw border grid option, which is pretty neat. You click there. Notice how the cursor picks up a little pencil icon along with a little grid beside it. What I can now do is go to the upper left-hand corner of the spreadsheet data that I'd like to surround with a border grid, hold in my left mouse button, and drag. And as I drag to the right, notice how it picks up all the cells and it applies a border to them. As easy as that. To get rid of the little icon beside my cursor, I just hit the escape key and I'm done. And then I've got the entire border set up on that range of data in my spreadsheet. Let me undo that. If I want to change the color or the style of the line for my border, I can go ahead and click the drop down, come down below, in line color, let me select uh, you know, a dark blue color, and let me go back there again because I also want to change the line style. Maybe I want to use a double line here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start at the upper left, click the left mouse button in and hold it, drag over to the right, and notice how not only has the color changed to a dark blue, but I also get that new line style, that double line style, which I think looks pretty nice. 
Now I might also want to continue beyond the end of this sheet to allow for future growth as additional employee records are added. I'm going to hit escape to get rid of that little icon on my cursor. If I want to apply any changes to this, I can come back to that little border drop down. I can say no border, but what I want to do first, of course, is to highlight what I want to remove that border from. But you know what? I kind of like the way this sheet looks, so I'm just going to go down below it and I'm going to go down and select no border. Notice that that has become my active icon, so if I just click on the icon, it will remove the border from what I had selected. Now if you go too far and you get a little hasty and select more than what you want, notice how I lost the bottom border across the bottom of my data sheet. Well that's easy enough to add back. Just go ahead and highlight it. All you need to really do is highlight that row. I'm going to come down and you can choose one of these icons here, bottom double border. And there you go. So the options you have for adding or removing or modifying the look of your border around your cells and your data in your spreadsheet is on the home ribbon, the home tab of the ribbon in the font group of icons. You have a little drop down for your border options. Alternatively, you can click the little arrow at the bottom right hand corner of that icon group which takes you directly to the Format Cells dialog. And if you click on the Border tab, you can apply your border settings here using the preview. And when you're satisfied, click on OK.